So it's been several months since we heard this statement from Ontario Premier Doug Ford himself on what he thinks about the Reed Award quarry in Milton. Folks, remember, uh, you're the boss. You say jump, I say how high. That, that's how it works in my world. Same as the private sector business that we came from. It's always customer service excellence. You aren't going to put something in that the whole community is dead against. It's very simple. I know the mayor, you don't want it. No one wants it. I don't want it. We're going to make sure it doesn't happen. So that was back in July during a funding announcement in Milton when Premier Ford promised Miltonians he would do what he can to stop the Reed Award quarry from happening in Campbellville. And just last week, Milton MPP Parm Gill announced he is calling for an environmental assessment and says he is happy to team up with the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry in this initiative. I've been working on this file for the last two years with the community and had requested uh, and written a letter to the Minister of Environment myself uh, over a year ago requesting this assessment. But uh, ultimately, the decision on this application lies with Minister Jakubowski, who is responsible for the aggregate industry. And, uh, you know, we've known there's been obviously a, a process that has to be followed. And uh, the proponent, in this case, James Dick, uh, had an opportunity to resolve a lot of the objections filed by the members of the community. And now that time has pretty much run out and Minister Jakubowski has recognized and now agrees with some of the uh, concerns, of course, that I raised with him and the members of the community had filed objections. And he is also not at a point where he's comfortable and uh, he, agrees that Minister of Environment, uh, Minister Yurik, needs to intervene and launch this environment assessment. So he's written a letter to the minister, and uh, I am hopeful that in the very near future, this uh, environment assessment would be launched, and uh, which will then uh, confirm some of the, the issues and concerns raised by the community and ultimately uh, how uh, detrimental it would be for the community should this project move forward. Now, Action Milton, the advocacy group fighting against this proposed quarry, is certainly encouraged by this news. In fact, in an email statement, they said that the board is seeking more information from Gill's office. They're also consulting their lawyer and other experts to better understand the full implications of this decision.